Safety Shorts by Keenan presents Food Service Safety. Meet Pete. Pete is a teacher having lunch in the school cafeteria where his twin brother works as a cook. Meet Joseph, or as he's more commonly referred to, Sloppy Joe. Joe thinks his nickname is a term of endearment bestowed upon him for his delicious ground beef sandwiches. That isn't why he has the name. He's just really sloppy. Hey there, bro. What can I get cooking for you? Actually, I think I'll just have some celery and carrots and a light vinaigrette. Sloppy Joe's it is. Here you go, PD, my boy. Anything else I can get for you? Uh, thanks. Maybe just some coconut water. Extra gravy it is. Whoa! Hey, you okay, Joe? Hey, Tim, can you please call the paramedics again? They're on their way. For Pete's brother's sake, please follow these safety tips concerning food service safety. Do not get distracted. Watch where you are walking and clean up spills immediately. Do not allow unauthorized people into the kitchen. Watch out for other employees who may be daydreaming in a hurry or engaging in horseplay. All of those behaviors jeopardize both their own safety and yours. Using knives. Keep knife and tool blades sharp. Cut away from your body. Use the correct knife for the job. Heat protection. Keep oven mitts in good condition. Use long gloves for deep ovens. Assume all pots and metal handles are hot. Moving heavy items. Use well-maintained carts to transport items. Carts should be pushed, not pulled. Don't overload carts and don't load them top heavy. Keep elbows close when pushing cart. Store heavy items at waist height. Other items can be stored between knees and shoulder height. Minimize your reach. Have students place food trays closer to you or use an overshelf. 